hello there today is Tuesday and it's the start of a new vlog and so welcome to the vlog and after just being off work this past yesterday Monday and the Friday before now it's just getting back to the normal stuff darn it and um, last week if you didn't watch we went Brian and I on a little mini vacation we went to Warsaw Missouri we love it there and um, visited Truman Lake and the Osage River and all that's in last week but anyway so now it's back to the normal stuff and just getting ready to make my coffee and get headed out the door and yeah oh coffee's ready this is the book I'm going to start today during lunch and hopefully it's good. Hello there. So today is Wednesday and this is a Timu shirt I'm wearing today just with some little pants like little I don't know what they call these flared crop pants. I don't know. <laughs> I got them from Walmart. Um, I got them like really early in the year, like before, because they're like a, a flared out capri. I bought them before they, it was even warm enough to wear them kind of thing, but I really like them. I have the black ones and then they had like um, denim, like blue jean ones and um, I like those too. Anyway, it's a T Timu shirt. Yesterday I forgot to show you what I had on for the day, but I had a white jacket and that was from Timu, but then I had an old navy dress underneath that actually I've, I've had for a really long time. And as a matter of fact, yesterday on my way home, it was like, um, had like straps. And I stopped to get gas in my car on the way home yesterday. And when I went to get back in my car, one of the straps broke. <laughs> so I was like, I'm glad that did that on the way home and not while I was at work, you know. I could have tried to hide it because I had that little jacket anyway, but I don't know how I would have kept one of the sides up with no strap over there. But anyway, um, that was interesting. And so, yeah, now it's Wednesday and I'm going to grab my all the stuff that I grab for work and get headed out the door and hope for a good day. Hey guys, today is Thursday. I'm working from home and you guys might remember I bought this vlogging kit from Walmart and when I opened it up, <clears throat> well first off I didn't realize that it was taped on the top but the tape was broken like somebody had opened it before. And so then when I took the this part out of the box, it looked like the, like the, I don't know what to call it, like the power source or the line was kind of pulled out of the back. You could see like the wires um, where it's like coated in black. You could see like copper wiring. So it's almost like somebody bought it, broke it, and returned it because it doesn't work because I went ahead and tried it out and it doesn't work. So I got to return this to Walmart. And... So yeah, but, so today's Thursday, I'm working from home. I actually just got back from the dentist. Those who have followed me for a while know I don't like the dentist. I go every six months, like I'm supposed to, but I can't stand going to the dentist. I don't, I just don't like it. But anyway, it's all done, and so now I'm just finishing the work day up. My appointment was at noon. Um, it's 1.30 now, so. Um, I just came into the kitchen to set this on the counter for when I get off work, I'm going to go to Walmart. And um, not really much else going on. <laughs> just checking in for the day. Oh, the gym, they're getting some new equipment, so they're closed until the 20th. So today, tomorrow, and the next day. So three days the gym is closed. And normally I would be going Thursday and Friday, so today and tomorrow. But... Um, so yeah, and then I could like walk outside or something, but it's gonna be in the 90s today, so I don't know what I'll do. Maybe just walk around Walmart. <laughs> 
So you know how I asked you guys about, you know, I was having the problems with the Timu videos and I had my microphone messed up. Well, I messed up because I didn't know the battery on the microphone was going dead and I was trying to catch up on Timu orders. So I filmed like seven videos in a row in one day. I just changed my shirt <laughs> and went to the next video. And at the beginning, you know, I tested the microphone and it was working and everything, but I didn't know it was going dead. So for the beginning of those videos, the microphone worked and then it cut out like two minutes in. So then I asked you guys, should I do voiceovers? Because otherwise I was just gonna delete the videos and you know, just lose out on showing you guys seven videos, which really, it's not like I don't make any money off YouTube. I don't have any sponsorships. I get nothing out of like monetarily or anything so you know I wouldn't lose anything I just really like you guys and I the ones that like the Timu hauls and so um, you know I still wanted to show the stuff to you guys so that's why I asked are you okay with that and all the comments that I got said yes please upload the Timu videos so I've been uploading them. I turned the comments off because there are rude people out there. Not the one, not you guys, not the ones that are watching the vlogs and stuff. And so I turned the comments off. So, but really then people will go to other, they'll go to either other Timu videos that I still have comments on, or they'll go to like a vlog and not watch it. Just leave a rude comment. Like I just had one that was like, oh my God, this is like the fourth Timu video with microphone problems. Um, it's irritating or something like that goodbye kind of thing and it's like it's not an airport you don't have to announce your departure but it's you know it's that kind of thing that is just I still have one more I have to do the voiceover on I'm gonna upload it and I just I want to just be done with them so I did one yesterday I'm doing one today and then I'll do one Maybe I'll do the, and the last one, maybe I'll do tomorrow. But I'm going to start commenting back to these people. I'm, I have been just deleting the comment, you know, but I'm, I'm just, I'm sick of it. But anyway, I don't understand rude people. There's so many other videos. If they don't like your video, they can just move on. They don't have to leave a rude comment, but. Some of them do anyway. Whatever. <laughs> I just replied to their comment, and you know what? That felt good. <laughs> they made a comment on my last vlog, the one that says lake and river time, about, oh, please, four Timu videos in a row with microphone problems. Enough is enough. Wow, I'm leaving. Bye. Something like that. So I responded that... Good riddance. Bye. Good riddance. You know, and that I filmed seven videos in a row in the same day without realizing I had microphone problems and I still wanted to make them, you know, so I did a workaround to still show the halls. And this isn't an airport. You don't have to announce your departure. Oh, and they also said, oh, and you got your comments turned off. And I said, you're the type of person I had the comments turned off for. So, ha. Huh. You know, I'm just... I'm just tired of it. I do the Timu hauls for you guys. For you guys and all the nice people that watch the hauls. And then I'll turn the comments back on probably <laughs> when... See, now I was sitting there thinking to myself, I'm not even going to upload that last one. But I'm going to do it because you guys want to see it. And, yeah. And people like... I don't know if it's a guy, a girl, whatever. They have the initials of like IJ. And uh, they're probably the kind of person that leaves rude comments on lots of videos. And uh, they can get a life. <laughs> I have one. I have a great one. So, yeah. But thanks for your guys' support. Hey there. So today's Friday. So I'm working from home. 
I actually just came in to get some lunch. I'm doing some, I'm just having boiled eggs and some cheese sticks because that's super easy. <laughs> I might go to Dollar Tree after work. I'm not quite sure yet. I kind of wanted to see if they have like Halloween or anything at my Dollar Tree. And I'm wearing a Scooby Doo shirt today. And I got this from Walmart. And I got done with my laundry today. And now I'm just trying to finish out the day, get this Friday over with. And I think Brian and my son are going to go see Blue Beetle. I don't really feel like going to see a movie, not that one. So I want to see The Haunted Mansion, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll see that or not, but definitely not today. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm up to today so far, just work, you know and uh, wishing the workday was done. <laughs> it has been overall a good week though, so that's nice. But anyway, I just wanted to check in on Friday. Here's an inside scoop for you. These are the Timu orders that I still need to film. I'm not doing like any of that pre-recording anymore. I'm just gonna film them either like the day before I'm gonna upload it or the day of. I have opened them so I can price stuff. So then I could just, I'll have the price right there. Um, you know, so I don't have to look it up or anything while I'm doing the video to save the time. But anyway, got all this. Well, I had just a little bit of back and forth with that rude commenter, the one that I finally actually commented back to. And so then she called me unprofessional, and so he or she, so then I let them know that I'm not a professional, YouTube's not my job, I don't make any money off of it, and it seems to me they were the rude one. So then they came back and said, I couldn't accept criticism and I have no ethics. And so it was at that point I just hid them from the channel, so they can't comment anymore, and that was fun. I probably wouldn't engage like that very often, but they're probably the rudest one, so whatever. I did upload a Timu video earlier, and everybody's been really nice. I, I left the comments on, and I only turned the comments off on the ones with the voiceovers, or some of the ones with the voiceovers. I think the last four, because of the rude comments that I was just deleting, and so I think on the reason that I decided to go or reply to that this last one was because they commented, they were making those rude comments on a vlog that was so happy for me, you know, where we went to Warsaw and just had such a nice time and you guys were leaving such sweet comments and stuff and then I get that one, you know, and then it was just like... You know, they can just go away. But yeah, so yeah. I wish YouTube, you used to be able to just block people from your channel so they couldn't see your channel, but now they just say hide user from channel. And I think that just means they can't comment anymore, or if they try to comment, you don't see it anymore. I don't know. I wish it meant they couldn't even look at your videos or anything, but I don't know. Maybe I'll Google that and see exactly what it means. But anyway, I am, well, actually, it's past time to get off work, so I need to log off, and then I think I am going to go to Dollar Tree, because... Hopefully they'll have some stuff. Last few times I've gone to my Dollar Tree, it's been so picked over, but we'll see. Just I'll just get out and I'll see. And of course, if I get anything, I will definitely share it with you. Well, I managed to find several things at Dollar Tree and I will show you my haul when I get home. I didn't do any filming in there because there was people in all the aisles and stuff and I feel really weird getting out the camera and stuff when there's other people in the same aisle as me so but I'll show you what I got when I get home now I'm gonna run over to Target I don't really know why because I'm pretty positive they're not gonna have Halloween stuff out they might have it in the dollar spot though I just want to look um, 
you know, Brian and Daniel went to the movie, so I'm, I'm out here on my own in the wild, so <laughs> I'm going to see what trouble I can get up to. So Target did not have their Halloween stuff out, like their main stuff, but in the little bullseye playground they had some things. And so they had these for a dollar. I got this little set that's, gosh, you can't even see it. It's a ghost and a black cat that looks like he's scared of the ghost. And then this little set of pumpkins. And they're a dollar. I got them for, I have like a little, you might have seen it in my background before on my coffee table. I have like a little double tiered tray that I put stuff on. <clears throat> and I thought it'd be cute to go on there. And then <clears throat> I got Brian some allergy tablets because he's been fighting allergies a lot. Ragweed just started. I think I'm having a little bit of an issue. Um, but only in the early mornings, but he's all day having issues. So I got him some of this non-drowsy allergy relief and it's um, like Claritin. It's, you get 70 pills for like eight something. And I thought that was a good price. Then I got, we've been having, Brian said it's cause it's so wet. It's been raining so much. I keep getting mosquitoes in our house. We've never had that before and it's like, Yesterday, I had one bite me on the wrist. It's like, and then I saw another one flying around. I've probably seen maybe about six mosquitoes in the last month. That's just a lot when you don't have anything. And so I got, I figured I would try this um, Zevo. I think Raid has one too, but I think Zevo came out with it first. It's a night light for you but it's like a attractive light for flying insects and so it it'll catch even gnats and stuff like that so I got this to try I'll let you know if it works and I'm gonna place it in the kitchen kind of in the dining room area where we have a night light now I'm just gonna replace it with this so that's what I got there and then now I'm going to go ahead and head home and I'll show you what I got at Dollar Tree. Oh, I'm so glad it's Friday. So, but I'll see you when I get home. Okay, I'm home now. So I'm going to show you what I got from Dollar Tree. Um, first off, I got several packs actually of these. But these are like those applesauce pouches so they look you know the little pouches like this and these ones actually have apple and banana I was buying I eat these one of these like for with my lunch and I have just a second before I was buying this Go Go Squeeze, and these are 3.2 ounces a piece, and these are um, two and a half. So they're a little bit less, but not by much at all. And these, for a pack of 12, are like nine dollars, at least where I am. Whereas a pack of 12 of these would be five, since these are a dollar and a quarter. And they come in a pack of three. And I've seen at some Dollar Trees, instead of being in a box, they'll just have like a three, three of these. To, now I can't get this back in here. Like three of them just like wrapped together. But at least so far my Dollar Tree has, I can't get this back in the box now. It doesn't matter. But anyway, so I got the one that is apple banana, and they have different flavors, but today my Dollar Tree just had the apple banana, I got three of those, and the apple cinnamon. So, you know what? I hear Django meowing. I think he might, he might be locked in a room or something. Just a second. He was. He was locked in Daniel's room. 
my son and Noni went in there before they left for the movie. So, yeah, I got three of the apple cinnamon and three of the apple banana. So I'll be taking those to work to put with my, I have like a stash that I have my lunch stuff in. I also keep like those chomps beef sticks and I have some, I can't think of the brand, but they're like, they have a Weight Watchers on the front, like a Weight Watchers approved kind of thing. And they, they act like they're like a snicker bar. They're really not like a snicker bar, but they are good. So I have some of those, and then I have these little cinnamon coffee cakes that I have with breakfast. I, I'll have a banana and mandarin oranges and one of those little coffee cakes. So, you know, for lunch. Okay, so, sirens. So next, I got some of their Halloween ornaments because I actually have a Halloween tree, you know, like a Christmas tree, but for Halloween and it's black. And I only put it up a couple of years because I don't really have that many ornaments. And so I think I'm gonna put it up this year, may maybe. We'll see. We're gonna be gone for part of October, you know, on that cruise. We'll be gone for like 10 days, so. We'll see. Anyway, that means I could decorate in September. But, so I got these that have like a black glitter and then um, spider webs. And then I got this set that has black ones with glitter and then a purple and a blue eyeball. And then this set that has purple ornaments with a green and an orange eyeball. And then this set, it's like the, the black set where it's got the glittery ones and a spider web. I'm not the biggest fan of glitter, but I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. So, got that in the Halloween section. They didn't have all their Halloween out, it didn't look like, at least compared to what I see people hauling. And so then, another thing I got is, I really wanted the ghost. So I've seen people haul the ghost. So this is two pieces. And so you can put it on a wreath. And I have a wreath I made a while back that I have like a little boo sign in the middle. And I think I might replace it with this guy. I really wanted the ghost, but he's cute too. So here's the top, and then there's this little bottom part. I think that'd be cute on that wreath too. For a dollar and a quarter, that's a good deal. Then I got this. This is for like putting in your car window, like the back seat. So, and it says it's eight inches. So they had, my Dollar Tree had the ghost, and a mummy, I think just a ghost and a mummy. So they could even come in other things. I'll have to try like a different Dollar Tree and see. And then I got three of these. They had different versions that look like a little tree. Um, this one says trick or treat trail, witch's way, and graveyard. And then it has the cat with the little uh, jack-o'-lantern and stuff. I could see people like taking this apart even, but I'm not. I'm just gonna keep it like this because I like it. That Mine had three designs and I got all three designs because I couldn't decide which one I liked the best. And then see how this one has a gray. I don't know if you can tell, but the tree is gray. Then they had one with where the tree was black on, on there it might look the same, but they're, they are different, where this one's gray and this one's black. Um, and this one says, Fright This Way, Haunted House, and Boulevard. And then it's got this ghost with the pumpkins. And then, because I'm not going to do a ton, I'm not going to go all out for Halloween this year. I'm just probably going to do like, just some stuff and maybe my Halloween tree. And then this one has a brown tree. They probably do they all look the same from there. Um, and it says Enter If You Dare, Haunted Forest, and Spooky Street. And it's got a skeleton with jack o' lanterns. I just thought those were so cute. And I really liked them, so I picked them up. And I'm just looking to see if I I think that's all I got that's Halloween related. I because I have a ton of Halloween stuff. But then I got some a refill 
on hand soap um, for the kitchen. That's the best deal, $1.25 for this big old thing. And my Dollar Tree sells out a lot of this one. Though They almost always have the antibacterial, like the one that's kind of an orangish color. Um, but I like this one because it doesn't dry your hands out. So I got a refill of that. Then I got, so I don't, I've never seen these before. They say they're a copper oven liner and I didn't get it for an oven, ugh, an oven liner. Um, it says it withstands heat up to 500 degrees. What I got it for was it says you can use it on like a cookie sheet. So yeah, you can use you can use it either as a cooking sheet or on a cooking sheet. You know, kind of like making me think of maybe like a parchment paper kind of um, replacement, but and it's reusable and you can wash it and everything. So I just I went ahead and picked up two of them. So we'll see. Hopefully it'll. Yeah, it shows on the picture. It'll it shows like it on a pan and stuff. Cause the type of oven we have, I have an electric stove, and the type of oven I have says you're not supposed to use oven liners. You know, like on the very bottom of the oven. So I didn't get it for that. So then I got I found two books. This one is now entering Adamsville. And I don't know, and it says, Time to Face Your Demons. I don't know if this is maybe a young adult book or not. Because it says this is off, the this person's off. <laughs> also the author of Eliza and Her Monsters. So, I don't know, but it says, Adamsville is full of ghosts. They haunt the old coal mine, take long walks along the lake, and watch visitors from the storefronts in Adamsville. In storefronts. Oh my goodness. In Adamsville, ghosts and their stories are a way of life, attracting the visitors that keep this small town alive. But Zora knows that the ghosts that the ghosts are real and not some tourist trap, and she knows what else lies hidden in the darkness. Now Zora is being framed for a crime she didn't commit. With the supernatural running amok in Adamsville, she must track down the true culprit, clear her name, and protect her family and friends, her entire town, from creatures set on destruction. But in a small town obsessed with ghosts, getting people to believe the truth might prove to be impossible. I just thought it sounded interesting. So I got it for a dollar and a quarter. And then there was another book that's called Eliza Starts a Rumor. <laughs> and this one sounded good. Um, it says, a smart, engaging treat. For Big Little Lies fans, the perfect summer read. I've never, that's Katie Couric that said that. I've never seen Big Little Lies, so all I know, I don't, I don't know. But it says, all it takes is one rumor and four lives will never be the same. Eliza Hunt has a big problem. Since her twins set off for college, she has barely been able to leave her Hudson Valley home. Desperate for connection, she invents a salacious post on a local bulletin board. But is there more truth to it than she knows? Olivia York, a young mom across town, thinks the scandalous story is about her marriage. Allison Lee, a single mother navigating life with a newborn in a new town, finds helping Olivia easier than facing her own relationship issues. Amanda Cole, Eliza's childhood friend, returns from L.A. amidst... Ad, Amidst her husband's me, hashtag me too scandal, she may just hold the key to why Eliza can't leave the house. Charming, heart, heart rending, and laugh out loud funny. Eliza Starts a Rumor is a fast paced story of four women coming together to face their pasts and forge their futures. Through sharing their secrets, betrayals, and triumphs, they emerge renewed in this joyful celebration of female friendship. I just thought that sounded cute. So, I'm, uh, lately I've been reading books on my Kindle instead of, you know, paper books, but I still love paper books, so I picked those up. Then I picked up some dark chocolate raisinets. I love these things. I have no idea how many Weight Watchers points they are, but, you know, if I'm having a cheat day. And maybe I'll be lucky and they won't be bad, or as bad. And then I got three calendars. They had, you know how every year they come out with like the farmhouse 
kind of style. And a lot of times, at least what I had or what I saw today, I saw two different ones of the like farmhouse ones. I didn't really care for the pictures that much. I've bought those before and I always will say, oh, I'm gonna get a frame and I'm gonna change, I'm gonna use those pictures and change the frame out, you know, for the, each month and the seasons and all that, and I never do it. But one of these days, I still have my calendars that I've collected, but anyway, I didn't really like those. So I got, and we use calendars at like, we've got one over on the side over here and then at work and then in the office so but anyway I got sunrises and sunsets it had some really pretty pictures you really can't beat these for a dollar 25 they're not the thickest like the papers not real thick they're not like a high quality calendar but they're correct like for the days and the pictures are beautiful and it's a calendar and then I also got scenic beauty which is another one that looks like it's got some really beautiful pictures. I was looking for one that I saw Chic on the Cheap. She's a, a YouTube channel I really like. C-H-I-C, Chic on the Cheap. Cheap. I don't know why I can't talk today. But she showed one that was Pathways and it looked really pretty and I was looking for that one but I didn't find it. And then the last one I got is actually a two-pack and it's Landscapes. <laughs> Can you tell? It's like scenic, sunsets and landscapes but so this one has landscapes and then it's got a small version and I've gotten these before that are like a two-pack and the little one has different pictures than the big one or at least in the past they had so all of these looked really pretty so that's everything I got and um, so yeah so now I need to put this stuff up do something with it and then figure out what I want to do for dinner. I might just go easy and have soup or a frozen dinner or you know those like rice that you just stick in the microwave. I like those too. I might have like a red beans and rice or something. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Give me one second. Here we go. Like the Uncle Ben's like the red beans and rice. Like I could eat this whole container. Trust me, I can eat this whole container. And it's like, I think eight points for Weight Watchers. So that's not bad. And it's quick and easy. So I might do that. I'm gonna try to decide between this and soup. But anyway, what an exciting evening for me, huh? And then I'm probably gonna play some Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> So I plug that in. It might not do a single thing for mosquitoes, but it'll get the other little flying things that are attracted to light. And it looks kind of cool actually. So we'll see how it works. So I was going to share with you guys like for like a dessert or like, you know, a nighttime snack or whatever. I will have, <clears throat> so I buy these dark sweet cherries or blueberries. They're frozen. I don't eat them frozen, but I put them in a bowl and I put them in the microwave for about four minutes to, and then they, you know, they get unfrozen and everything. And then I put a little bit of the fat-free Ready Whip on them and it's a really good, like, dessert. These are no points for Weight Watchers, like if you're a Weight Watchers person. And then this is zero points for two tablespoons. But, like, if you put, like, say, 10 tablespoons, it's, like, one point. But, um, but yeah, and then it feels, like, really cheaty, but it's not. It's healthy. <laughs> so today is Saturday, and we're going to spend the day on Hillsdale Lake in Hillsdale, Kansas. So this is our little setup that we have for, we're going to blow up our floaties and I'll show you how close we are to the lake. Right here, and our sea -doo is out there, well over there, it's the one that's blue and 
silver and black. Well, we're done at Hillsdale Lake. That's a lake that is about 45 minutes from our house. And it's the one where if you've watched before, plus you could see, I showed you how you can just kind of set up on the sand and anchor your, your personal watercraft and just kind of take turns. We went out on a couple of rides and now we're at a gas station because Brian's putting gasoline in the sea -Doo. And then on the way home, we're gonna stop at Panera, get salads and just put them in the fridge when we get home, take showers, have some dinner. Kansas City Chiefs have a preseason game, so Brian's gonna be watching that. And I'll probably watch it with him. And it's been a really nice Saturday. It always flies by, it seems like, when we go to Hillsdale. But it's, it's a really hot day. It's like 100 degrees Fahrenheit today, so the lake was a good place to be. Hey there, so today is Sunday and I'm getting ready to go into another Dollar Tree because I really want to find that little wreath two-piece set, the one that I got the skeleton. I want to find the ghost. So I drove to a different Dollar Tree that's about 15 miles away and I came to this one because it usually is good and right next door or really close is a big Walmart and I need to get bananas and oranges. So I figured, you know, I can go to the Walmart out here. And so hopefully this Dollar Tree will have it. So we'll see. I'll let you know if they do. Okay, I'm done at Dollar Tree. They did not have any of those wreath things, but they did have some other things. So I'll show you my haul when I get home. Um, now I'm gonna go over to Walmart. The one thing I really, really like about this Dollar Tree, not only are they usually really good with being stocked, like they, and they were today, the cashiers are so nice in there. There's a lady, and then there's also a man that I've seen in there. And so, like, when you walk in the door, they're like, welcome and she's like calls you sweetheart and I know some people don't like that but I don't mind it one bit I think that that's somebody being nice you know I just think it's sweet and so she is all welcome in sweetheart and then you go to leave and then while I was talking to her at the register because one of the things I bought was some super glue and because I needed some yesterday and I noticed that um, the one we had was like barely any in there and you I guess you have to be 18 to buy super glue I didn't realize that at least in Missouri you must have to be and she was like I'm just gonna say you're 23 and I'm like, actually, I'm almost, I said, in October, I'm going to be 53. And she's like, honey, I'm still going to say 23. <laughs> she just, she's just super nice. And we were talking a little bit because she had a fan on because the, the, the checkout is right by the windows. And it's the time of day where the sun is just beating down on those windows. And it's really hot up by the checkout stand. And I was telling her, I said, well, would they let you, like, put up like the sunshades like you know the ones with the suction cups that you can put the sunshades in your car um, I was asking her I said would they let you put up a couple of those just like right there where the Sun comes in and she's like you know sweetheart I never even thought about that I think I might ask I'll, I'm gonna see so but she just she just was super nice and she just made my day so now I'm going to go into Walmart to get the things on my list, and of course, you know me, I'm going to look at more than what is on my list, because that's what I do. <laughs> Got the bananas and the mandarins. Now I'm just going to, oh, Brian needs hair gel, and Daniel needs tater tots, but then nothing else on my list, but I'm just going to look around. On hot days like this, and actually cold days in the winter, I'm so happy to have that feature on my car, remote start, 
So then I have the air conditioner on already. It is so hot. It's 92 and today there's no breeze. This is so hot. So I got all the stuff on my list, which wasn't much. It was, I think, like four things that were on my list. Yeah, hair gel for Brian, tater tots for Daniel, and bananas and oranges for me. So I got all that. Then I also got some, like, a few soups and some frozen vegetables. The kind, you know, that you just put in the microwave. So now I'm heading home. There's a car parked next to me, really, really close. I always park way out, one, to get the extra steps, and then two, you know, just to kind of protect my car a little bit from dings. And it seems like a lot of times, no matter how far away I park, there's a car that's like, I don't mind cars next to me, but you know, with the people that just get way close, that's irritating to me. But, eh, whatever. Now see if Brian would have been driving. Okay, lady, it's your turn. Now it's my turn. Brian would have, like, been checking the car and stuff. But I didn't check or anything because what would I do? Plus, most of the time people don't ding your car. It seems like the times that my car has gotten like a ding in it has been grocery carts actually. So that's another pet peeve of mine. That's actually a big one. It's people that don't put their carts up because this car got a ding from a shopping cart. So did my car before that and my car before that. That's where the dings came from. Shopping carts. And I would come out of like a store and the cart would still be on my car. That's so annoying. So, I just don't get why people can't put up their shopping carts. So, I don't really have anything else planned for my day. It's too hot. Brian and I had talked about going to a different lake today, but we talked about that yesterday. But then this morning I was telling him, I just don't want to. <laughs> you know, being in the sun all day just kind of saps your energy. To me, anyway. And yesterday we were sitting in the, sun, in the shade a lot, but then we were also, you know, riding out on the sea dew and then we were floating in the lake on our floaties and stuff. But then you also have all that stuff you're, un you're like setting up, like our little tent that we were sitting under and our tarp, just all the prep that it takes. And then, you know, when we get done riding the sea dew, we always wash it down and everything. And it's like all that stuff, it just, it takes work. It's like, you have a lot of fun, but it takes some work too. And it's like, I didn't really want to do that another day. And we would have just went to like a local lake. We have a lake really close called Longview Lake. And so for that one, we don't, there's nowhere to like set up a tent and all that kind of stuff. So it's not as much work, but still, I just kind of want to chill out, get my little amount of shopping done and Maybe play my game, watch a movie, read my book, something, you know. I think he pretty much was just going to have a chill day too. And then next week, we do have another lake trip to the Lake of the Ozarks. It's our last lake trip of the year. I'm sad about that. Well, I mean, we still can go. My phone keeps tilting. But we still can go to our local lake. We do have a cruise coming up in October, so the fun is not over, but I'm just sad. I really, really want to have our own place at the lake, and 
we've talked about that a lot and actually we've been saving some money and so first we were thinking when we retired we would like sell our house and buy a house at the lake now we're thinking we don't really want to do that we want to keep our house and buy a condo at the lake before we retire so we can just go there however much we want you know the kids can go there um, family you know and then we'll still have our house so then when Brian and I pass away which hopefully is a long time away you know the kids will have the house and a condo that we can hand down to them and so that's kind of like what we're aiming for now we've just been saving some money and one day hopefully we'll get a condo so that's the dream but anyway I'm gonna keep driving home and then when I get home I'll show you what I got from Dollar Tree okay so I'm back home got the groceries unloaded so I'm gonna show you what I got from Dollar Tree and then I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up so I can get it uploaded but so first off I found the Pathways calendar, the one that I was telling you about when I did my other haul earlier this week. And it's just like all the pictures have like pathways, you know, what, and it just looks so peaceful. So I've got plenty of calendars. I've got enough <laughs> between work and home. There's plenty. Then I got, I've seen this sponge like at my Dollar Tree also and then I finally just went ahead and picked it up specifically for the kitchen sink. It's supposed to be a good like cleaner for the sink and then it's supposed to polish the stainless steel without scratching it. It's got like the purple side for cleaning and then like the silvery side to polish it. So I figured I'd give that a try. And then you know the other Paul, I showed the, the applesauce. <laughs> well, they had the mango and banana fruit puree. Yeah, and it's banana puree, mango juice, exorbic acid, and citric acid. You know, they always use those and stuff like this. So it's really not applesauce, this one per se. They, so I got two of these. They also had the pineapple apple but I didn't get it because I figured I have enough of these to last me a little while now. They don't expire until the middle of next year, so I'll have them eaten, you know, way before then. Then, these were intriguing to me. I thought they were so pretty. They're um, like little air fresheners. See how they're like the beads? And... Yankee Candle makes something similar to this, so the beads eventually, these water beads eventually just dissipate. But I just thought it was so pretty. It looked like a little flower, and I got it to put in the bathroom. But I got the Morning Mist one, this really pretty pink. I, just, I love this with the flower. And then I got the Rose, Rose Bouquet that's red. I thought these are so pretty. So, um, they had one other one I, at that Dollar Tree that was like a, I think it was a citrusy smelling. And then I got another bag. So one thing they had there that my Dollar Tree didn't have was the small ornaments for my Halloween tree. So I got the orange and the purple. They also had black, but I didn't get the black. I mean, since the tree's black, I didn't know how good they'd show up. And then here's the super glue <laughs> that she had to put in that I was over 18. So, and it's just super glue brand, just super glue. But I got this one because it said that it won't like clog up and stuff. So it's the kind you'd like push out like that. Then, I got these extra large clothespins and there's six of them and I got these for like to use as like towel clips on the cruise. Do you hear that cat? Let's let's let him in. Let's see what he does. Come on in. 
don't know if you heard him, but he just went over by the window. He doesn't like it when the doors are shut. So then also, they had the pegboards. And I have an idea for these. I have like a place that I hang some necklaces and stuff, but it's not working that great. So I thought I would try using the pegboards instead. They're the ones that are plastic. So they have the black and the white. And so I got two of the black. And they didn't have the things where you can hang them on the back. Like they're like these little squares, but I do have some like command hooks that stick out kind of long that I thought maybe I could just hang this on. So I'm gonna try that. If that doesn't work, then I'll just hold off and wait till I can try to get those squares. And so then to go with these, I got a couple packs of the little hooks that go on there. I figured necklaces could hang on there. And then I got, they had like a little shelf, like a little pegboard shelf. So I figured I'd put that on, on there. And then lastly, I got, there's, so in the restroom at work, there's some woman or women, I don't know, somebody's been putting like little, um, you know that poopery stuff that you spray in your toilet so then if you like poop it doesn't smell the whole bathroom up kind of thing well there, there's a lady that's been putting little jar or little spray bottles of that in the bathroom for people so Dollar Tree had these and they work they really work they're just um, kinda hard to find sometimes and these are the lavender ones so I bought a couple of them so then I'll put these in there too so she won't be the only one you know it's probably in the bathroom with, <laughs> with the poopery. So, and these are way cheaper than a poopery. So, but yeah, I don't know. That was goofy, but anyway. The other thing that I really do want to do today, I, I need to sit down and cool off for a while. When I was on the way home, by the time I got here, the temperature gauge said it was 99. Um, Alexa? What's the temperature? Right now, it's 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 76 degrees. Oh, it says the high today is 108. <laughs> so I'm staying in the house. But the one thing that I do want to get done today is I want to dye my hair because it's got so much gray. Um, but yeah. That's the last thing I can think of. I'll show you the kind of hair dye that I'm gonna use. And there's so much gray. I have it like pulled back right here so it can cover the roots. But yeah, I'll show you that. <laughs> Django, you wanna say hi? Kitty kitty. Hello. Little handsome man. So this is, I always have to get two boxes because my hair's long. If I do my whole head, which I'm planning on doing. So I got this Swartzkopf keratin color. I just buy it from Walmart. At least the Target by me doesn't sell it. And then Django, here he is again. He's wanting some sink water. There you go. Then I was also gonna share with you guys this is what I use. Do your guys' cats do that? He doesn't like it when you leave it running. So you have to like let some go in there. And then when he's done, then you start the faucet again. But <laughs> silly boy. Anything to me that'll make a cat drink water, you know, because sometimes cats aren't the best at that. But I buy this for like my neck. And I've used it for a long time. It's like $11 at Walmart. But I just figured I would share that. I'm almost out of my current tube. So this is something else I picked up today. Hey, buddy. You want me to turn it on again? Back up. Here, I'll turn it on real light. This 
see when you do that, he just sits and stares at it. What do you see? There you go. Okay, so now I'm gonna wrap the vlog up for the week because the only other plans I have is, unless I get too lazy, which is not out of the realm of possibility, I'm gonna color my hair and I'm just gonna try to relax and enjoy the rest of this Sunday before I start another work week. So anyway, thank you so much for spending the week with me and I hope you come back next week. Bye.